Now, to our Women's Day feature, developing sporting talent at school is not always easy, especially when you're not at a traditional sports school. Someone who knows about this is sports director at Greenside High, Bongi Wendleko. She joins us now via Zoom from Johannesburg. Bongi Wendleko, thank you so much for your time. Now, tell us about the work that you do at uh, Greenside in terms of um, being a sports director there. Thank you very much for this platform, and thank you very much to ENCA. Uh, what I do at Greenside High School is I manage 13 sporting codes at Greenside High School, making sure that all um, our sporting codes, the, the kids have um, access for them to play, and they play against other schools as well. So, yeah, that's what I do at Greenside High School. And just how did you get into that? I know that you played rugby, and we'll talk about that uh, shortly, but how did you get into that? How I got into that is, is the love of sports that I've always had. And I started coaching straight uh, after my matric year mm -hmm. in 2009 at Greenside High. I matriculated in 2008. And in 2009, I went back to go and coach and give back to, to, to my school. Um, and that's how it all started. It, by me coaching there and then I learned quite a lot and through the sports I got a bursary to go and study sports management so it, it was a huge journey to where I am right now. And you work uh, with high school kids or teenagers and uh, you've spoken about how yes. uh, you want to target that age group because as a former um, rugby player for the Lions, you realize that that age group isn't targeted uh, as much as, say, the senior uh, team is, especially since you were playing touch rugby, you said, for 11 years before playing senior rugby with the Lions. Tell us about the importance of development in rugby for you. The importance of rugby for me is I, that um, I started very late playing the sport because I wasn't exposed to it. I didn't, it, I didn't even know that there was women's rugby out there. So for me, um, it's, it's a great platform actually working at a school to, to, to empower other schools to introduce women's rugby um, so that we have more of our baba uh, more of our pure who are playing in the Springboks team that we have more of those girls that are exposed and at a, a very young age that they're playing at that young age. And uh, you're an executive member of the uh, Golden Lions Rugby Union uh, executive. Uh, what can we expect from you uh, in terms of women's rugby? Definitely more empowerment, definitely more uh, exposure for the girls um, so that the girls could be broadcast and yeah, there are a lot of things in the pipeline in terms of the Golden Lions uh, Rugby Union. And, yeah, it's, 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 it's tough. But um, if we stand together as um, a union, and I'm very happy that they've brought me on board um, to actually have a voice uh, to say that this is what we need, this is what we, we are going to do. Um, so, yeah, there, there's a lot in the pipeline. And how can players be uh, made to get into rugby? I mean, you said that you didn't know there was even something called women's rugby. What are some ways that we can make it more of a thing for, for women or for girls to know that there is actually women's rugby? They could go on our uh, Golden Lions Rugby Union website. Um, we have il uh, 11 um, clubs around in jo Johannesburg. Mm. Uh, we've got the Pirates Women's Rugby, we've got the University of Johannesburg, we've got the Vits, we've got um, uh, Wanderers uh, Girls, we've got quite a lot of um, clubs in Johannesburg that are playing. So if they go on our website and they can also, um, they'll get more details in, in terms of email, who to email and get that um, information as well on the website. Okay, great. Bongi anyway, thank you very much for that. We'll hold you to the fact that you've said that the Lions will be doing a bit more in terms of developing or making women's rugby uh, more known in the rugby circles in the country. Thank you so much for your time. That was Greenside High School sports director and former Golden Lions player, Bongi Wendleko.